so here we are with our OCI representative. I'm Terrence Langham. I'm the safety and environmental manager out here at OCI. Okay, so uh, tell us a little bit about the the railroad car here that we've got. What what kind of car is this? Uh, this is a car wheel box car that we use to load our final product in. And back in 2001, this car and another car we have similar to it were damaged during transport. So we brought them back here to the site and placed them out here on blocks for storage. How long have you known the bees to be in here? Uh, the bees have been out here um, probably somewhere between five, seven years. Okay. But I, know, I don't know exactly, but somewhere Rough, in, yeah. that range, okay. rough in that range. So uh, what prompted you guys to want to go ahead and get rid of them now and go from there? Well, over the years, uh, we've contacted a few people about the bees and come out and looked at them. And because of their location, they were, they said they couldn't do anything with them. I got you. They weren't a real big hazard, but over the last few years, they start to swarm here and there. And we have employees working in the rail yard and with the bees swarming, they're putting, we're putting them at risk by all the bees going down. I got you. Well, I appreciate you contacting me. We talked about uh, the possibility of doing a forced abscon out of them where we could to get them out and uh that's why you got us up here so we're gonna have some fun and try to see if we can't run some bees out and uh not get stung so much but uh take care of your problem for today you ready yes we appreciate it well here we go all right all right guys here we are check it out we got bees in this thing that i'm gonna get out today the logistics in doing this is really gonna be crazy you got a you got a thick square tube that's going all down the side of this train Bees been in there for five to seven years. Till we start drilling some holes and we find the last little bit of comb, we can't really tell. But I know we've got, there's a blocker right here. So the bees can actually come from here to here, but there's no comb. The comb starts pretty much right here at the eye and it works its way back, okay? I know I've got comb at least to right here. Found honey right there. So that being said, we've got, you know, about eight feet of comb give or take. Um, let's see, about 10 inches, 12 inches high, depending on how open it is in there. So from right there to right there, we're going we're gonna to have a whole lot of bees. We're going to sweat like hogs. We're going to use a whole bunch of smoke, a whole bunch of honey be gone, and a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy this because here we go. I want to take a minute to thank the guys at Blythewood Bee Company, all right? They sent us five gallons, okay? Five gallons of Honey Bee Gone. I'm going to put a link down in the description to their uh, YouTube channel. Um, they, they, they make some videos about different products they sell, but if you want beekeeping equipment, if you need Swarm Commander, if you need Honey Bee Gone, just about everything, just about everything that you can think of bee, beekeeping related, you can get at Blythewood Bee Company. So they, they didn't pay me for this. This is, a, this is just because I love them to death, and I want to say thank Thanks guys for sending me some honey be gone so we can get some bees out of this rail car. Check them out, link in the description, and uh, tell them Yappy sent you, all right? Don't know if it'll get you anything, but tell them I sent you anyway. All right, gang, we got everything together. Honey be gone, smoker, blocked off the other exit. Let's put some smoke to them. We're gonna start it out light, getting them moving, let them know I'm here, give it a minute or two, and then bam, we're gonna start nailing them. Let's go.
all right so we're gonna edit that one big last push we have gotten just about everything you could possibly think outside of this thing and we've smoked with the last of them that are coming up out of here that's that what I'm hoping to do is get them out we'll smoke them off into the air and we'll get them to land up here on the box with the rest of them but I got some coming back here and we'll smoke them all up but we're gonna get these out get them airborne they'll land over here on the box we'll basically put them up in the trailer and uh, I guess we're gonna start closing everything up real shortly after that but uh, that's a real good sign real good sign when they start landing on that box I think we got us a lot of bees in here and I'm pretty sure I feel very very comfortable that we got our queen and there we go guys we are almost done Ben and I, I can't wait to show you how many bees we got in the box there's probably about five pound of bees in this box it is packed full and uh, got a few stragglers in another box so let's get to it Thank you. 